Hello, I welcome you all in the course on refrigeration and air conditioning. Today we will cover the air refrigeration cycle. Now, in today's lecture, we will be covering Juice Britton cycle, Bell Coleman cycle, and we will try to find COP of Bell Coleman cycle. Now, starting with the Joule Britton cycle, actually, Joule Britton cycle is an air standard cycle for power generation, and this cycle is being used for the power generation in gas turbines. It has one specific applications in gas turbine. And in this cycle, there are two isentropic processes and there are two constant pressure processes. So, this cycle is depicted here on pressure volume diagram and at the same time, this cycle is also depicted here on temperature entropy diagram. Now, in this cycle, first air is the working fluid and the first air is compressed from state 1 to state 2 through a compressor. At state 2, constant pressure heat addition takes place. Normally, in the gas turbines, there is a separate combustion chamber. In that combustion chamber, the heat uh, addition takes place, but since it is an air standard cycle, the, it is assumed that the, throughout the cycle, air is a working fluid. So, <coughs> uh, from state 1 to state 2, compression of air takes place. State 2 to state 3, constant pressure heat addition takes place, constant pressure heat addition to air takes place. And when the state 3 is attained, the expansion of air takes place and we attain the state 4. During this process, the output, the net output of the cycle is the area of PV diagram under 1, 2, 3, 4. This cycle can also be shown on temperature entropy diagram. Process 1 to 2 is isentropic compression where uh, work is done by the compressor on the gas, on the air. Process 2 to 3 is constant uh, pressure heat addition. Co process 3 to 4 is output of the turbine or expansion of hot air takes place. And pro process 4 to 1 is the cooling process or if it is open cycle, then at state 4, the air is thrown to the surroundings. Now, if we reverse this cycle, if we reverse this cycle, reverse means instead of expansion in process 3 to 4, compression in process 3 to 4 to 3 takes place. Compression and then heat rejection, then 2 to 1 expansion and 1 to 4 heating, the cycle will become something like this. Now, this is reverse Joule's Britton cycle or it is called Bell Coleman cycle. Bell Coleman air refrigeration cycle. It is called air refrigeration cycle because in this cycle, air is the working fluid or air is the refrigerant. Now, in this cycle, if we show it on the PV diagram, first of all, compression of air takes place from state 1 to state 2. Now, after this compression, the cooling of air takes place or heat is removed during this process from the air. So, the temperature of the air goes down. When the state 3 is attained, again expansion takes place inside an expander. It is, it is a turbine or an expander where expansion takes place and these two processes 3 to 4 and 1 to 2 are isentropic process and 4 to 1 process where heat is taken from the surroundings. And this process 4 to 1 produces a, the cooling effect. Now, if I want to show the same cycle on temperature entropy diagram, then there are two constant pressure processes, constant pressure lines, process 1 to 2, process 1 to 2, isentropic compression, where the pressure increases. <coughs> then heat is extracted from the air, high pressure air. So, it becomes uh, high pressure, low temperature air and heat is taken away from here and we attain state 3. At state 3, again the expansion takes place and state 4 is attained. Now, even I will give you some numericals values for these states also, so that you can, you will have fairly good idea about the cycle. Now, starting from state 1, suppose the air is available at 27 degree centigrade and 1 bar pressure. So, when air is available at 27 degree centigrade, it is equivalent to 300 Kelvin of temperature. 
Suppose this air is compressed in a compressor having compression ratio of 4. So, P2 by P1 is 4, P2 by P1. Now, temperature at state 2 is going to be T1 multiplied by P2 by P1 raised to power gamma minus 1 over gamma. Because it is the following the process P V raised to power gamma is equal to constant where gamma is equal to 1.4 for air. Now, if you put the numerical values at uh, uh, T 1 is 300 Kelvin. So, in order to find T 2, T 1 is 300 Kelvin, P 2 by P 1 is 4, 4 raised to power 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4, it will turn out to be uh, 4 approximately 446 Kelvin, approximately it is exactly it is 445.97, let us assume 446 Kelvin. So, 446 Kelvin is equal to 173 degree centigrade. So, the temperature of the air has increased during the compression process to 173 degree centigrade. Now, if I cool this air with the help of surrounding air, surrounding air is 27 degree centigrade. I cool this air to let us say 77 degree centigrade. So, it is T 3 is 77 degree centigrade or 350, 350 Kelvin. Temperature of air available at state 3 is 350 Kelvin and pressure is 4 bar, here pressure is 1 bar, here pressure is 4 bar. Now, if I expand this air to state 4. If I expand this air 350 Kelvin air at 4 bar to 1 bar isentropically, in that case I am going to get T 4 is equal to T 3 P 4 by P 3 raised to power 1.4 minus 1 1.4 and this just a minute it raised to power gamma minus 1 over gamma. Now, T 3 is 300, uh, T 4 is equal to T 3, T 3 is 350 Kelvin, 350 and P 4 by P 3 is 1 by 4 and 1 point this gamma 1.4 minus 0 0.4 divided by 1.4. So, this will turn out to be Two thirty five approximately two thirty five point four four Kelvin, or let us say two thirty five Kelvin, or is equal to minus thirty eight degree centigrade. So, during this cycle during the cycle, we have taken outside air, compressed it, cooled it and then we again is expanded back to the same pressure 1 bar and the temperature of air has reduced to minus 38 degree centigrade which is very, very low. <coughs> so, with the help of this bell column cycle, we can get very low temperature in the case of air. Now, after this, we will find try to find the performance of this cycle. In order to find the performance of this cycle, we should know how much heat transfer is taking place and how much energy is consumed in compressing the air. During refrigeration process that is 4 to 1, the heat transfer is that is Q L is a C P, this is cons, uh, specific heat of air at constant pressure. T 1 minus T 4. This is the refrigeration effect we are getting the cycle. Now, how much work is consumed? The work consumed is 
area of PV diagram or work in compression minus work gained in expansion. Now, compressor work from state 1 to state 2. There are several ways of doing it. First, first of all, it is a cyclic process. So, in a cyclic process, as per the first law of thermodynamics, cyclic integral of delta Q is equal to cyclic integral of delta W. Here, in these two processes, process 1 to 2 and 3 to 4, they are uh, uh, isentropic processes, so heat transfer is 0. Only heat transfer is taking place in process 4 to 1 and 2 to 3. So, net heat transfer is net heat transfer is C p T 2 minus T 3 C p T 1 minus T 4 and this net heat transfer is also net work transfer that is one way of doing it. Another way is if we use the formula delta W is integral of 1 to 2 V d p. Through this formula also we can find the work done, because when these processes are not isentropic, in that case we cannot use this formula. This formula is applicable only in the case when all the processes are ideal and there is no heat transfer during these two processes. So, <coughs> In order to have a generalized expression, let us try to find out work through this uh, formula, work consumed by the compressor through this formula. This work interaction has negative sign and energy is consumed by the uh, compressor. It means work interaction is negative in this process. So, negative negative is possible, so positive. So, the work of the compressor is state 1 to state 2 V d p. During the compression, compression, it is the isentropic uh, 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 compression or reversible adiabatic compression, <coughs> PV raised to power gamma will remain constant or V is equal to C raised to power 1 by gamma and P raised to power minus 1 by gamma. Now, putting this value of V here, we will get work of the compressor is equal to integral from 1 to 2 c raised to power 1 by gamma p raised to power minus 1 by gamma dp. Again the work of compressor is equal to c raised to power 1 by gamma and if we integrate this we will be getting p 1 minus 1 by gamma divided by 1 minus 1 by gamma 1 to 2 or gamma over gamma minus 1 p 2 raised to power gamma minus 1 over gamma minus p 1 raised to power gamma minus 1 over gamma multiplied by c raised to power 1 by gamma. Now, c raised to power 1 by gamma is equal to p raised to power 1 by gamma into V. Now, putting this value, because now P V, now we can always take it as like this, P 1 raised to power 1 by gamma V 1 is equal to P 2 raised to power 1 by gamma V 2. Now, putting this value of C here, we will be getting gamma over gamma minus 1 P 2 1 by gamma p 2 gamma minus 1 by gamma v 2 minus p 1 1 by gamma or we can instead of writing like this gamma minus 1 over gamma I will write 1 minus 1 over gamma 1 minus 1 over gamma and v 1. If you simplify this equation you will be getting work consumed by the compressor is gamma over gamma minus 1 P 2 V 2 minus P 1 V 1. 
air is considered to be an ideal gas here. So, P V can also be replaced by R T. So, gamma over gamma minus 1 R T 2 minus T 1. Now, gamma over gamma minus 1 into R is nothing but C P, C P T 2 minus T 1. Here, there is an interesting observation that adiabatic compression is taking place, pressure of the gas is rising okay? and work done in this process is C P delta T. C P is the heat addition, specific heat at constant pressure. It is C P dt and there is no constant pressure process here. So, it is only an expression, it does not indicate that the pressure, the process is a constant pressure process, but this expression is a simple expression for work consumed by the compressor. Similarly, we can find the work output during process 3 to 4, that is work of the turbine or work of the expander is equal to C p T 3 minus T 4 and the net work is C p T 2 minus T 1 minus C p T 3 minus T 4 or C p T 2 minus T 3 minus C p T 1 minus T 4 or heat rejected in this process and heat taken in in this process or cyclic integral of heat, heat transfer. There is another way of, uh, I have already discussed two ways of finding the network. There is another method also, if you use the first law of open system. First law of open system states that in an open system, delta Q minus delta W is equal to dH plus C D C plus G D Z. Now, here in this case, in case of compressor, this change in potential energy can be considered as 0, change in kinetic energy is also 0, isentropic process there is no heat transfer. So, minus delta W is D H. Minus this minus delta W means work is consumed by the compressor. So, work of the compressor is integral of 1 to 2 d h. As we know that h is equal to internal energy plus P v or h is equal to u plus R T. P v we can always use the relation P v is equal to R T in case of ideal gas and air is assumed to be an ideal gas. So, d h is equal to d u plus r d t or d u is always c t d t c v d t plus r d t and this is c v plus r d t and this is. So, d h is equal to c p d t or h 2 minus h 1 is equal to C p T 2 minus T 1. Similarly, we can drive for this also that work attained in during expansion process is C p T 3 minus T 4 and we can again come to the conclusion or we will come to the same expression as we have attained through earlier processes. So, we have three alternative methods to find work during compression. Now, C o p of this cycle, coefficient of performance of this cycle because efficiency of any refrigeration cycle is judged by the coefficient of performance. So, coefficient of performance is heat transfer during refrigeration process that is C p T 1 minus T 4 divided by work net work consumed. So, it is going to be C p T 2 minus T 1 minus C p T 3 minus T 4. Now, C p will be cancelled out and C o p will remain T 1 minus T 4 divided by T 
टी टू माइनस टी वन माइनस टी थ्री माइनस टी फोर इफ यू रियरेज दीज टर्म्स टी वन माइनस टी फोर शैल बी इक्वल टू टी टू माइनस टी थ्री माइनस टी वन माइनस टी फोर और इट इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टी टू माइनस टी थ्री डिवाइड बाय टी वन माइनस टी फोर माइनस वन वी कैन फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई दिस वी कैन फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई बिकॉज पी टू बाय पी वन इज इक्वल टू रेस टू पावर गामा माइनस वन ओवर गामा इज इक्वल टू टी टू बाय टी वन दिस इज ऑल्सो पी टू एंड दिस इज पी वन सो पी टू बाय पी वन इज इक्वल टू टी टू बाय टी वन दिस इज फ्रॉम आइडियल गैस रिलेशन इज इक्वल टू टी थ्री बाय टी फोर ना हियर इफ यू टेक दिस रिलेशन और वी कैन फर्दर मैनिपुलेट इट लाइक दिस टी टू बाय टी थ्री इज इक्वल टू टी वन बाय टी फोर सो टी टू बाय टी थ्री माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू टी वन बाय टी फोर माइनस वन टी टू माइनस टी थ्री बाय टी थ्री इज इक्वल टू टी वन माइनस टी फोर डिवाइड बाय टी फोर और टी टू माइनस टी थ्री डिवाइड बाय टी वन माइनस टी फोर इज इक्वल टू टी थ्री बाय टी फोर और टी टू बाय टी वन और दिस टी टू माइनस टी थ्री डिवाइड बाय टी वन माइनस टी फोर कैन बी सब्सटीट्यूटेड हियर एंड वी कैन गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ सी ओ पी एस वन बाय टी टू बाय टी वन माइनस वन एंड फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर सी ओ पी एस टी वन बाय टी टू माइनस टी वन सो फॉर आइडियल बेल कॉलम साइकिल वी नीड ओनली टू इंफॉर्मेशन टेम्परेचर आफ्टर कंप्रेशन एंड टेम्परेचर बिफोर कंप्रेशन एंड वी कैन फाइंड द सीओपी ऑफ द साइकिल एक्चुअल साइकिल नाउ इन एक्चुअल साइकिल आई विल डिपेक्ट द एक्चुअल साइकिल ऑन बोथ ऑन प्रेशर एंट्रोपी सॉरी दिस प्रेशर वॉल्यूम एंड टेम्परेचर एंट्रोपी डायग्राम इन एक्चुअल साइकिल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज आइडियल साइकिल वन टू थ्री फोर प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम इन एक्चुअल साइकिल दिस इज नो लॉन्गर एन एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेस द प्रोसेस विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस इट कैन बी शोन हियर एस चेंज इन दैन एंट्रोपी हैज इंक्रीज ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस सो इट इज टू डैश फॉर कूलिंग ऑल्सो टेम्परेचर मे नॉट रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट ओके सो टेम्परेचर मे सॉरी फॉर कूलिंग द प्रेशर मे नॉट रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट सो प्रेशर विल फॉल ड्यूरिंग कूलिंग प्रोसेस एंड आफ्टर दैट एक्सपेंशन ऑल्सो इज नॉट एन आइसेंट्रोपिक प्रोसेस इट इज अगेन देर इज अ चेंज इन एंट्रोपी सो द एक्सपेंशन विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस वन टू डैश थ्री डैश एंड फोर डैश एंड देर इज गोइंग टू बी प्रेशर ड्रॉप इन द इवेपरेटर और ड्यूरिंग द हीट एक्सपेक्शन फ्रॉम द सराउंडिंग ऑल्सो दिस इज एक्चुअल साइकिल सो द प्रेशर एट द आउटसाइड ऑफ द एक्सपेंडर इज ग्रेटर देन द प्रेशर ऑफ द इनलेट ऑफ द कंप्रेसर नाउ विद दिस आई एंड दिस लेक्चर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वील टेक अप एयरक्राफ्ट रेफ्रिगेशन सिस्टम